Shalom, I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Um, this is going to be a quick lesson in regards to this Kanye West um, situation, or, ye or Yeezy, or Ye, you know, um, you know, um, he's uh, been out there for the past year past couple of months you know on the he had a interview with uh nori of the drink champs and uh he's uh he uh keeps emphasizing you know that we're the israelites and stuff which we are and he's right and um this the so-called uh small hats the um you know that the amalek um, like the Amalekites or the Edomites, you know, they're having a, a um, they're having like they're mad, you know, but um, choose the truth, right? And um, you know, even though uh, you know, this is could be like publicity type of stunt, you know, basically, you know, because um, you know, this is all uh, this is all a strategy. You know, because it's the Heavenly Father who's doing this. And, um, you know, you could do nothing for the truth. Like, like, you could do nothing for the truth in a stock. I forgot that saying, but um, there isn't, like, you, you can't stop for the tr You can't stop the truth. It says, if you can't, you can't do nothing for the truth. I forgot that saying, but basically, like, um, you know, um, like you can't uh you can't hide you know like you know the truth's out here you know people are learning about it, who who we really are you know so um amalekites you know because they run everything they run the whole uh music you know hollywood you know entertainment you know all you know all type of industry you know they run you know they have the world you know um you know the elite families you know uh rothschilds and you know these affluent uh jewish families or you know uh which are edomites you know like they're the ones who run this world you know and their uh, their time is running out so this is a trojan horse off of wikipedia right this is a metaphorical a trojan horse has come to to means any trick or stratagem that causes a target to invite a foe into a securely like protected basin or place a like malicious computer program that tricks users into willingly running it is also called a trojan horse right because this is basically this is like a trick you know alex jones uh he with the sandy hook uh case uh he uh he's basically uh he got sued and uh he has to pay uh so called almost a billion dollars for like for um defamation you know so um and then uh alex of uh, stock yeah kanye west you know they're um the george floyd family wants to sue Kanye West for I think 20 million or something so um this is all just uh um all this is all just uh smoke and mirrors and stuff because right now we're in the stage of World War Three you know we see what's going on in uh Ukraine and Russia uh NATO you know NATO, uh, you know, they're out here, like they're all in, in those, um, in Ukraine there. They have these uh, war planes, you know, that basically like surveil, you know, and um, certain, certain, country, certain companies, it's like a certain countries are involved, like Canada, um, I believe Belgium, Germany, you know, and, um, you know and like russia's there you know they're watching them too right so they have all these spy these um uh, these uh, 
these covert spy planes you know that they they they, they uh they're they're uh, tracking them and and stuff but um there's a it's a this is uh like this is all gonna build up until um world war three and um you know the lord yahweh shai michael you know uh the archangel he's gonna have to he's gonna stand for for uh for our people you know and basically there's gonna be war in heaven all right over there in the uh in the in the middle east you know that whole uh that whole region there um the fertile crescent you know that whole area you know iran that whole area or uh ukraine so it's gonna get in it's gonna get hot and um this is revelation 12 and 7 um and there came and there was a war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels right so we know that the the the, the dragon now because uh back in the day we're during the pagan roman empire you know um you know like they uh you know they had um you know that whole land there over there in the east right but now they um you know they uh they have evolved you know they uh when you go to revelation 12 you know like they were cast down you know and then we came up or whatever and then um basically like uh the roman empire you know rose up again right they basically they call themselves nato north atlantic treaty european union and nato is basically like uh the military you know um you know of the uh of the edomites you know like that's their corporation right uh nato nato like north atlantic treaty organization you know canada america uh think uh australia you know certain um europe right and um you know uh also the european union you know like that's their stronghold you know so that like, that's referring to the dragon right and fought against his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven right so when the lord comes and when he comes with michael the archangel all right the angel of war all right uh you know because michael means who is like god right michael allah all right which means who is like god and um that's what the lord's gonna bring all right and he's gonna bring michael and a, a whole bunch of angels right michael who is like god all right maya maya ka allah maya Micah allah all right, so who is like god all right and that's what's gonna happen man and uh prevail not neither was there place found any more in heaven and the great dragon was cast down cast out right so that whole europe that whole um european union nato you know with their uh you know their countries and their uh and their military you know that they're gonna be cast out you know so their whole financial infrastructure you see what's going on with uh the european union with uh britain or the uk with uh morris johnson like he, like he's resigned and um there's an, a woman you know she's a prime minister she resigned so you know this place is unstable man you know and we know that uk is is the mother of um of america of britain right you know so um this is real man it says the dragon and the dragon was cast out and the old serpent called the called the devil and satan which deceived the whole 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 world right and that's how this you know the devil right 
no devil means deceiver let's look at that word devil all right he's a deceiver all right because you know because they deceive the people you know acting like they're uh they're righteous right you know where they have, they have uh you know the images of the saints or whatever you know like with their iconoclasm right with their renaissance art and depicted that them as god you know and um you know like you know like they want to be the jews of the land you know like they want to call themselves jewish or israeli all right you know like the whole state of israel was it was uh it was developed or was basically um 1948 is when they established that whole state all right and and the person who signed it was uh was a like one of the Rothschilds, right? And um, you know, and um, you know, and then basically, like you, uh, you people over there in the the eastern side of the world, you guys started going. I guess after they said, "Oh, that we," uh, you guys are says um, after World War Two, or whatever. Basically, like ninety four eight, like you guys went or whatever. Then you, you you call then your says that oh that um you guys are you know you, they say what happened to them and blah 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 or whatever and they get you know reparations every year every year right you know like they get reparations right but look at Kanye you know Kanye he basically was talking about yeah like you know like yeah like I feel sympathy for you but you know but. You know, but he basically said, you know, I'm um, like, basically, I'm um, like, how about our people, the so-called black man, or, or, you know, you know, like, how about us, right? Because it's just like, we're not getting no reparations, we're not getting no compensation, like, they don't, you know, like, so, um, so basically, like, this is, this is the spirit, you know, that the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, like the controversy that the Heavenly Father is stirring up upon people, but this is for the devil. For Revelation, uh, Revelation um, twelve and nine, the de uh, devil in the Septuagint. I mean Diablos. So oh, it says prone to slander, slander, accuser. For uh, says slanderous, accusing falsely. You know, and that's what they want to do, right? and that's why they uh you know like they you know we know who runs hollywood and the music right so they have our people you know they do all these crazy movies you know and um you know like like no like um you know this whole uh I was watching that thing with raising raising canaan you know with 50 cent you know that every all all his movies what he's producing is just nothing but death into the into these in these into these urban hoods in these urban areas you know and we're just he's just promoting death his music you know 50 cent you know his first album is um uh, you know he had many other he had like i think um the power but he had like i think guess who's back um you know and um he had like he had some mixtapes or whatever then then he got like he got the he got the um he got the rich he got he had the um like he had the get rich or die trying album you know then he had the massacre and we're just nothing but death or whatever right so they promote the death right into our music you know you know this uh on on like the cardi b and stuff like they just have them doing twerking and their music and they're just folly right so they just you know like this is what they push you know that like they have our people as uh alternative lifestyle like they have them wearing dresses and you know they tell them you know like they, they tell these guys yeah if you want to be a rapper or whatever you know like you have to put on the dress if you want to be an actor you have to go put on the dress and all that shit so like that's why we're gonna stand we're gonna stand for uh 
like we you know like we're gonna be standing for you how you was shy right because Kanye West you know he he knows he's an Israelite now you know but he doesn't um he doesn't know the 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 in depth levels you know of this thing right because you know like you know he's obviously watching our videos the Hebrew Israelites he's watching the videos of the Hebrew Israelites you know and um yeah so I'm gonna continue it says prone to slander slanderous accused falsely a um a columnistial slaka that word it says a columnist a, a communister false accuser slanderer metaphoric metaphorical applied to a man who by oppose the cause of god may be said to act the part of the devil or decide with him right and that's what he is man you know like that's what esau is all right because everything you know he's like this guy he's he's the same man he's cain all right because cain he wasn't supposed to kill his brother abel all right but he's he you know he killed his brother abel all right so he's the first murderer he's the first, you know and um you know and like and satan all right and satan just means adversary right so you know like that's what he is he, he, like esau does if you tell him to go if you tell esau to go do something you know like if you tell if you tell him go do something you know like go wash out you know the, the plates he's not gonna do it he do the opposite you know and like that's a characteristic of esau which which divisive which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth right and that's how this this earth was this was like and like that's how the devil was deceived right he deceived the whole earth Right with their sorceries, with their witchcraft, you know, with their with their telly, with um like the telly's to your vision, you know, these TVs and stuff, you know, the music, the in, you know, the whole frequency, what they push, is just uh, it's wickedness, man. Their philosophies, you know, and that's why this place is gonna be ultimately like destroyed with nuclear fire, right? He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. All right. I have heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his, his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them day nor night. And that's what the Esau is doing. You know, and basically, um, you know, like Kanye West, he's basically, um, he doesn't care if he, because basically what's going to happen, you know, with him, you know, anything could happen, right? But uh, he, like, he'd rather just say, you know, just, he, he, he like, he'd rather just say it as how it is. He'd rather just tell them how it is, man. Let me, um, want to play this, then you could continue. Like then we could, could uh, continue. It's lucky. For the Jewish people, what I'm doing is I'm me too in the Jewish culture. I'm saying y'all got to stand up and admit to what y'all been doing. And y'all just got away with it for so long that y'all don't even realize what y'all doing. And it's like... Y'all can't fuck with me either because y'all behind that gated fence. Y'all soft. Y'all hands got soft. You ain't out here getting beat up every day like me. You ain't out here getting you. called crazy every day like me. You ain't out here getting your family snatched like me. You ain't out here half your culture getting aborted like me. You ain't out here getting outraged with false narratives like BLM like me. 
So for all the Jewish media, y'all want to sit down and have a conversation with me? Then let's have a conversation. But you ain't going to send Harley Pasternak, Puff Daddy, Meek Mills, Kim Kardashian, none of the usual suspects, and get me to stop talking. You're going to have to take my life. I don't care if you black mirror me. I don't care if you do some of the alternative, what the thing was, show me talking, saying somebody didn't say. I don't care if you have me fucking a goat on camera. I don't care what you do. I mean, You're yeah. going to have. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, and if you take my life, there's going to be some college kid, some young yay, some young Pac that's going to even go harder. It's going to. Y'all thought George Floyd was going to send it up. If you took my life right now, you're going to see something you never saw. So we might. Yeah. So you saw. He, like he doesn't want that narrative out there man all right and um you know like that's why it's gonna get real man all right because um uh, that shows you right now what they're doing they're painting the narrative they already have it with the like the um like the like with, with the so-called um on that the project Megiddo, you know which is the FBI and all that. But um, we're going to continue and then I'm going to go into, uh, you know, like the plan of, of Esau, what he's going to do, you know, with this whole narrative, right? Even though Kanye West, he basically, he's telling you like what he does, you know, what, you know, like, you know, because he basically says like, you know, he, he, he made a lot of money, right? Through his music, through his fashion or whatever. So he's like, he's had, he's up there now. You know, but um, you know, but let's see if he's gonna if he's gonna have his integrity, yeah, or if it's just uh it's just like a smoke and mirrors. But end of the day, this is the heavenly Father show, right? So um, you know, so the Most is stirring up, he's stirring up the the he's stirring up, you know, the controversy, the heavenly Father, right? And uh, and I heard. A loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them day, which accused them before, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's what they do. All right. And they, uh, you know, like they set up our people, you know, like they set up our people with this whole fast food, you know, KFC, McDonald's, Popeye's, you know, this stupid music, you know, and, um, you know, and like, and they go, bef like, and, and like they go and they pray, you know, to the Heavenly Father and say, yeah, you know, like you see your people, you know, your people out here selling drugs, you know, selling drugs, um, you know, on that committing murder. You know, extortion, this and that. You know, you see your people, you know, like you see your people, man. You know, but, um, you know, but, you know, but they, you know, like, but, but it's, you know, but it's like they're the ones who's, who's given us, you know, all these weapons, these, these drugs, you know, these stupid music. You know, if you want to go, you want to sign into them, you want to become a, a, uh, uh, actor or, or uh, basketball player or, or uh, whatever you know like you know like they uh, you know like they you know like they accuse us man you know day and night man so you know it's like so they're always setting up traps for our people man Esau's the trapper he's the ultimate trapper all right um, so accuser in uh, Revelation uh, 12 and 10 uh, this is very in depth man like this thing is very um th this isn't this is thing man he, you know e esau is uh he's he's a tactician he's he's a very tactical guy man you know so they you know like they know how they destroyed our people man yeah accuser Salakia. Yeah. So like 
accuser. All right. Let's go into that Greek word. Karigaros, I think. Strong's G, 2725. Kategaras. Kategaras. Thayer's lexicon, related entry. Kategor. Kategor. Accuser. All right. And then uh, it says, a name given to the devil by the rabbis, right? And that's what it is. The rabbis, right? The council of rabbis. If you go into that. Yeah, this guy is uh, a tactician, man. All right. And we know what goes on, you know, with these uh, with these rabbis over there in the land of, land of Israel, the state of Israel. And um, like what they do, man. And they do all kinds of wickedness, man. Council. What do you call it? We yeah, the Council of the Rabbis of America. Yeah, this is them. Like you know, um, like this, like this is the people, man. The wicked people, man. You know, they wear out black and all that. You know, they, you know, especially, uh, especially when you go up, when you go into their neighborhoods, man. Out here, you know, they wear all black and all that, man. You know, because they wear that that black, you know, it's to it's to, uh, you know, it's Satan worship, you know, you know, like that's why they get their Sabbath is uh, Friday sundown to uh, Saturday sundown, right? And they. Uh, they do all kinds of stuff. They wear that damn yarmulke or whatever. See them there? You know, so it's like these are the people. These are the magis. All right, when you go into um, Isaiah 13. All right. But the like the um, like Chaldeans, you know, like these are the so-called modern day Chaldeans, man. So-called Jews. Amalek, the Amalek, Esau. You, um, I have this. I have the PDF. You know, remember I got that from one of the brothers. You know, um, who is who is Esau Edom, man? All right, and it's very, uh, it's very in depth. You know, I got that. You could get that. That'll be our next, uh, that'll be our next in class, Lord's will, you know, just uh, sharpen up, because uh, it's a lot of information, all right, and um, and we know that, you know, what they're going to do, they're going to paint a narrative, like, where, uh, where the hate speech and you know we're the crazy Israelites and whatever, but uh, it's not. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna happen like how it. You know, like how they want it to happen, man. All right. And uh, this is uh, the Cointel Pro. It says the Cointel Pro. It says it derived from the Cointel Intelligence Program, 1956 to 1971. All right. That was during the time where. Uh, a lot of the Judah was waking up, all right, out of, out of that sleep, right? But they, you know, they set up all these different, um, like all these different movements, you know, a lot of them were, uh, a lot of them were, uh, a lot of them were infiltrated and, you know, and they controlled it. It says was a, Series series of covert and illegal projects actively it's like it says like a, it says actively like conducted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation aimed at surveying infiltration inf it's like a inflating infiltrating discrediting disrespecting like domestic Americans. 
like it's a political organization all right and, and so like you know like this is Esau man all right it says um Esau is the con he, he he's the man of the craft he's a he's cunning guy he's a craft a craft man all right um it says um it says uh says Americans American politically America it's like a American political organization FBI ne needs show cointel resources targets groups and individuals the FBI deemed sub subversive including f feminist organization all right the um like the communist party the USA the anti Vietnam war organizations um activists of the uh civil rights movement you know the black panther movement right all right and those were judah all right they were um you know like jake was waking up all right and basically during that time is when abba bivens was on the scene too all right during the um he like he was uh uh, uh he, he 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 was uh um, when you go to the commandment keepers or whatever then he basically he's like an off branch of the commandment keepers because he went into the new testament all right because a lot of them were just going into the old testament all right the torah and basically that's it so he he like that's why we believe that he is uh, abba bivens all right you know that abba bivens is um you know um that basically you know like that he's elijah you know coming back all right and that was during that whole time right you know it says um activists of the civil rights movement and black panther movement all right martin luther for martin luther king jr the nation of islam all right the black panther party all right and um it says and animal rights organization the american indian movement right so that's gat too all right so they know we get that all right because um we'll go get that genesis yeah hey, that's esau man esau is a wicked motherfucker man and um you know because they know who we are you know that they want to say that they're the jews or yeah you know like go ahead man go ahead go ahead but we know in the spirit who we are or whatever right and um you know this was a uh, spirit this was like it, it was given to the prophets man all right genesis 49 i uh start at one the and jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourself together that i may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days so aren't we in the last days right now all right so that means that jacob was a prophet all right and gather yourself together and hear ye sons of jacob and hearken unto your father israel all right so that shows you that judah right judah all right like those are the same guys from west africa you know certain parts you know because a lot of our people were were uh were also living in europe you know and basically uh you know like we went into the transatlantic slave trade all right and we came to the americas you know central america but especially uh america you know and that's where uh we know that judah he, like we know that kanye you know he's probably a a, a judite you know possibly reuben you know because he's a chicago guy he, you know, like a lot of them come from um 
uh, like a lot of them come from down south from mississippi alabama so it could be a uh, reuben or get but it says judah thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies and thy father's children shall bow down before thee right so yeah so we're gonna be in the hands of our enemies man you know, like when the lord comes whatever and they and then esau is gonna have to bow down man unto us man judah is a lion's whelp from the prey my son thou art gone up he stooped down, right? So when we we're in, when we were in the transatlantic slave trade, you know, and we were uh, we, we were cast down, you know, we we're beaten, you know, and basically, um, you know, even you know, like during the time when we we're in slavery, like there were a lot of slave rebellions, man, you know. But basically, we fell, you know, we lost who we were, everything, you know, like they didn't even want us to read like to know how to read and write you know so like that shows you the level that esau was trying to do to our people man you know but during the 1950 1960s you know with uh malcolm x martin luther king martin luther king or whatever junior uh they have they are waking our people as to who we were right and um you know even though that like malcolm x he was going into the islam you know but he found out later you know like that we're the jew that's you know that we're uh we're of the sheep you know the last sheep of israel basically and uh you know and then like malcolm x or stuck not malcolm x also um martin luther martin luther king jr he said um uh, that before he died before he was assassinated he said um you know he he's talking about the promised land all right so you know but you know but they assassinated them you know so he crouched down as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up right and right now our you know like we're out like now judah's being is being is being raised up man all right from Abba Bivens, you know, Arya, Arya, um, Elder Yaikwab, you know, King Masha, or, you know, Masha, you know, you know, like, you know, Judah's, he was raised up first, right? And, um, you know, and then the other tribes is, is, is coming, it, 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 like, it's coming back to the fold, man. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh and unto him shall the gathering of the people be all right and that's what it is going to be all right so that means that the people in the land of the Israel the state of Israel you know like they haven't even fulfilled that prophecy all right so that means that this prophecy is going to come in real life you know uh, like when the Lord comes you know our like our like our big brother Yahweh is gonna come and he's gonna and he's gonna do a lot of a lot of uh, great what uh, like he's gonna do a lot of great wonders and miracles. All right, but um, says um, says the American movement. All right, the. Like the Chinos and the Mexican American groups, like the Brown Berets and the United States and 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 the United Farmers Worker, right? But you see, they're talking about the like chi like the Chicos or the Chinos and the Mexicans, right? So that means, you know, that our, our Mexican our people were were fighting too, like during that time, right? During that whole uh, movement. You know, because uh, a lot of people was catching hell. You know, over there in Mexico, a lot of the Mexicans was being lynched over there, right? In Mexico and um, you know certain parts of the South. You know, not you know so called Mexicos, so called Mexicans, right? and um, as well as um, you know you so called Negroes, man. A lot of our people was being lynched and hanged. You know, and being mutilated, 
you know, so it shows you Esau has a lot of things to pay for, man, including the Puerto Rican, right, which is be the tribe of Ephraim, you know, independent groups, you know, such as the Young Lords, right, the Puerto Rican Socialist Party, right, it says, and very, and it says, and very, very like yeah, and variated of organization that were part of the broad new, new left and far right group such as the Ku Klux Klan and the National States Party right so you could do your research right so it shows you that these people these people this Ku Klux Klan and all that they're all in bed together you know with Esau you know and uh they have these you know like they you know like they uh you know like they psalms 83 you know like they're basically going against our people you know and basically um especially nowadays with the whole united nation the league of nations is to keep our people down to keep the 12 tribes down all right now our people are uh learning who they are all right so when you go into um about uh like the puerto ricans right and the american indians right and we know that american indians would be the tribal get all right and um so it shows you man all right so you so-called you amalekites you 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 jews jewish or whatever like you don't really um uh, you know like come on man like tell me like tell us who other uh, like the other um, ten tribes then man. If you just if 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 you're only you're only repping the house of Judah man. Like tell us who the other tribes are man. Genesis forty nine and nineteen. Gad the troops shall overcome him, but he shall overcome him at the last. Right. So we know with the um, we're here in Canada with um. The Royal uh, Slakia. What do you call them? Uh, the Royal Canadian Police. You know, the Mounties. And whatever. Who, who slaughtered them. You know, and, and killed our people, man. You know, the American. You know, uh, American Calvary. And stuff, man. Alright. He shall overcome him at the last. And that's what's going to happen when the Lord comes and he's gonna he's gonna build back up Gad man all right and there's gonna be a lot of destruction man that's on, gonna happen on this land because there's gonna be a civil war and that's what is happening what's so that that this is what's gonna happen you know and um so then you know you, you can't hide man there's no way to run nowhere to hide like that's why Esau he, he like he feels that he's gonna have everything under control but it's not All right, let me just uh, think. I'm gonna watch this later, but I already watched this one. I watched this one. You could watch this. It says Kanye West apologizes for anti-Semitic, for anti-Semitic posts. For posting, he would soon go DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Kanye West has apologised for the anti-Semitic comments he made on social media. The American hip-hop artist was banned from Twitter and Instagram for posting he would soon go DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Speaking on Piers Morgan Uncensored, Kanye West defended his comments before moving to apologise. I think you, you don't understand me. the pain that you've been causing with some of these comments. And I think that one in particular, I can understand. Oh, my God. God forbid, God forbid one comment could cause people to feel any of the pain that my people have went through for years. I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEFCON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel like I call I cause hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do with the the trauma that I have been through. That interview will premiere tonight on Piers Morgan Uncensored, 10.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Yeah, so whatever, man. Like, he's going to be the one to kick off this thing, man. Who's going to just bust down the gate, man. Because you know what? This thing has to do, this thing has to kick off, man. 
So somebody has to play that character, bro. You know, and this is what's gonna happen. All right, because uh, like we know what, uh, like we know what the plan of, um, you know, the um, American uh, government, you know, that their plan, you know, because they wanna sweep us, you know, like they wanna, um, you know, stop us from, you know, like prophesying, ultimately, right? We get uh, the revelation. This is six. Probably Revelation 12. It's like, yeah. I'm going to go into that article. Yeah, this is this is the same chapter. It says, uh, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, right? So this is Yahweh Shai, all right? And he's gonna and he's gonna make us overcome him. He's gonna make us overcome, you know, these devils, these other nations, man. And um, he's gonna seal his elect, the hundred forty-four thousand, the one third, all right. By the blood of his of their testimony, and they love not their life unto death. So even if some of us we're gonna die or whatever, we're gonna have our our faith, you know, and we're gonna you know even some some of people will perish or whatever. But the Lord's gonna make them rise. He, he's gonna raise them up first. All right, that when the Lord comes with um, Michael the archangel. You know, and and, and like in Yahweh Shai and the the host of angels, and uh, the saints are gonna be marching in. You know that song, Oh when the saints go marching in, Oh when the saints go marching in, Oh when I want to be in that number. I think that's uh, Joey. I forgot that guy's name, but uh, that's Jake. You know, and that's what it is. The saints are going to be marching in, man. You know, when his 144,000 is going to, you know, because the Lord is ultimately, there's, this war is going to kick off and the saints are going to be marching in, man. Therefore, rejoice the heavens and ye that dwell on in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he know if he have a short time. And that's what they're going to do. You know, this is uh, for this, um, the ADL.org, uh, extreme sex within the black Hebrew Israelite movement, right? Which we're not black, right? We're just Hebrew Israelites. We're not black. You want to have like a, a bad, a negative you know, a bad, a bad light, a negative, you know, like you're just saying black, you know, that when you say that, that has a, a, a bad, a bad vibe, a, a bad narrative, right? The black or right, of the Adam online. All right. Um, this is, uh, this is, uh, says black was use of dark skinned people in old english f f of coffee with n nothing added uh a test by uh 1796 the meaning fierce uh terrible wicked right we're not wicked because you know because we're the saints esau's the wicked and like that's why he wants to call himself white like he's pure all right you know but you're not pure you're the like you're the red man you're not white you're red and like that's why the lord that's why eyes is named like you know our our forefather isaac you know he named uh esau ishashua waste away you know then he gave him a surname which means Esau, Edom, which means red, right? Without light, it says, uh, 
It says the figurative it says it says the figurative sense often comes from the notion without light morals of spiritual right. So yeah, they want to call us black, black, black. No, we're not black. We're we're dark skin. You know, you know, um, on that we're different shades of brown, man. You know. Latin nigger, right? And that's what they want to always call it, these bywords. You know? Because, yeah, because there's a thing in, uh, I think in Acts, about well, the Niger, right? They call us Niger, all right? Because that was bywords, right? You know, during the uh, Roman captivity. The Latin Niger was, had many of, of the same figurative sense, gloomy, unlucky bad wicked malicious so you know like this is the same guy man even when we're in captivity or even when we're in the cargo slave ship and they call us nigger nigger and they still call us nigger man so they call us all these different bywords they want to call us black just call us the hebrew israelites man the extreme ex the extremist sect Within the Black Hebrew Israelite movement, it says, um, "This is up an article. It says uh, the Black Hebrew Israelite movement is divided into organized or sects that operate semi-independently across the United States. Black Hebrew Israelites believe that they are the true Israelites and that the 12 tribes of Israel are a people of color, right? So they know, or whatever. This is the whole narrative, or whatever. So we know that um, they're going to come down with great wrath, and whatever. And this is off. Uh, you could read about this. You know, just for our time's sake, you know, this one too. You know, Project Megiddo. This uh, Project Megiddo was report uh, like a report research and written by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation under the direct of Louis Frisch, released on October 20th, 1999. All right. And uh, yeah, so that was uh, 1999, sir. So that was just... Uh, Shit. Yeah. On the thing, October twentieth, nineteen ninety nine. The report named following the anti white supremacist Christian identity yeah, said the Christian identity the Christian identity, the American like militia movement, black Hebrews like movement, the populist culture. So this is um Th th that you know um and like this is the narrative that they're gonna want to push whatever but this is all written all right so we know that you know jacob's trouble is coming you know the time of uh the time of jacob's trouble you know the hour of temptation you know they're all uh going hot coincides all right um revelation 12 and 10 and i heard a voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength right so right now when the Lord comes or whatever you know and he's gonna he's gonna restore you know his his elect man bro like we're gonna be like singing we're gonna be giving all praise to his for his name man the Heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh Shai and his son and Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. And the power of his is anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Which accused them before our power day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of his testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Even right now. You know, like we're, like we're pretty much loners, man. I know, me, myself... You know, um, I'm a very much, uh, I'm a very lone, loner right now, all right? Which means, uh, like, solitary, all right? So that's it. We have to be solitary 
Are there because um the are are you know because the devil's coming down with great wrath, right? So we gotta stay uh, focused, you know, and just pray in uh, unto Yahweh Yahweh Shai because the name the name of the heavenly Father is uh like the name is a fortune. You go to the Proverbs, you know, the name of the uh it says the name of the Lord power is a uh, is a fortress, right? Therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the heavens of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he know if you have, you have but a short time left. Alright, so we know that you know this is what's gonna happen, man. Uh, I'm gonna go do more, but um that's going into something else. Yeah, but this is what's the plan of uh, Esau Edom, man. And um, it is what it is, man. Like, you know, truth, you know, the truth doesn't hurt. The truth, you know, truth's the truth. You can't, I, I can't even say the truth hurt. No, the truth's the truth, man. Because what you did unto our people, man, is wickedness, man. You see all this too. This is. There will never be another black messiah unless we create him, right? And that's what they try to do with the Cointel Pro, right? With J. Edgar Hoover, man. All right. And um, when I was coming to the truth, e even before I was watching a lot of documentaries about um, what happened to our people, man, um, over in America, man. You know, with uh, the Black Panthers and, um, no, Malcolm X and, you know, um, Marcus Garvey and stuff. And, yeah, man, like, that's what they always do, man. So, uh, with that, I just say all praise due to Yahweh, Bashem, and Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole for members of the elect. Peace and blessings. Uh, hopefully this video was edifying and I'm going to continue. This is for educational purposes and uh, Shalom For the Jewish people what I'm doing is I'm me too in the Jewish culture I'm saying y'all got to stand up and admit to what y'all been doing. And y'all just got away with it for so long that y'all don't even realize what y'all doing. And it's like, y'all can't fuck with me either because y'all behind that gated fence. Y'all soft. Y'all hands got soft. You ain't out here getting beat up every day like me. You ain't out here getting you. called crazy every day like me. You ain't out here getting your family snatched like me. You ain't out here half your culture getting aborted like me. You ain't out here getting outraged with false narratives like BLM like me. So for all the Jewish media, y'all want to sit down and have a conversation with me? Then let's have a conversation. But you ain't going to send Harley Pasternak, Puff Daddy, Meek Mills, Kim Kardashian, none of the usual suspects, and get me to stop talking. You're going to have to take my life. I don't care if you black mirror me. I don't care if you do some of the alternative, what the thing was, show me talking, saying somebody didn't say. I don't care if you have me fucking a goat on camera. I don't care what you do. I mean, You're yeah. going to have. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, and if you take my life, there's going to be some college kid, some young yay, some young pop that's going to even go harder. It's going to. Y'all thought George will send it up. If you took my life right now, you're going to see something you never saw. So we might.